We already know that Dubai is very expensive. It is the 23rd most expensive out of 209 destinations. You can sense it? Yeah. Like it's calling you? Yes, it's calling. It's calling. Oh this my is God. my place. Yes, I see. <laughs> right. I meant to be there. $24,000 a night. Yes, <laughs> <What? this is laughs> However, it is about 25% cheaper than in New York City, but these stats are based on the cost of living if you ever want to live in Dubai. Traveling is expensive, so it could be worse when visiting a costly city in the, in the Emirates. Okay, so this is the amount of money I'm going to help you save for your trip to Dubai. In this video, I will give you a few tips on how to save your money and feel like you live in luxury when visiting Dubai. So if we think about Dubai, pretty much Dubai is a desert and the weather is very dry. All right, the sand is hot. I'm thirsty. Can somebody save me? Where's my tourist guy? Where's my water? <laughs> Put it this way, last year in 2021, it only rained 25 days. I mean, that's it, 25 days of raining for the entire year. Amazing. And because of the hot desert weather and its extensive coastline with warm waters in the Arabian Gulf, the best way to start enjoying your vacations in Dubai on a budget is to visit the public beaches. These are my favorite public beaches to visit, so pay attention. Marina Beach, which is on the Jumeirah Beach residence, or JBR, Jumeirah Beach, La Mer Beach, Al Mamsar Beach, and if you are into water sports, then Kite Beach will be your best spot. There are a few ways to move around and this is what you need for transportation. You can always get a train, you can always go to the metro. I'm tired. Okay, so I got my ticket. This time it's no gold car, it's just a regular one and uh, it's cheaper I guess. So I'm gonna use this and I'm in the metro station. The fare for the taxi was around, I think it's like a 90 dirham, maybe $40 uh, trip. It's affordable, but if you are taking transportation every day, which you have to, because from the hotel to the different destinations, it, it can take it can take time and it's a little far. So, yeah, traveling in train is just the most comfortable way to do this and cheaper. So, no brainer. But the metro doesn't really take you all over the places. It actually gonna take you for a few places. So you better check the map of exactly where you want to go if you wanna go to the metro. Now, the other option is you wanna take a taxi because that's what is more usual. 
if you are not gonna rent any car, you can take uh, from the taxi, you can go to the metro. If the metro is far away, um, I would say, wait, what, 20 minutes distance walking or 15 minutes walking? Those are the options. Let me talk to you about the taxi before the taxi is coming up. There are two types of taxis. Do you have the limo taxi or the taxi? Limo taxi is gonna charge you more, just so you know. All the colors, all the details on these lamps, it's just amazing. When you come over here and you want to take pictures of the store, some places they don't let you do that. Sometimes you have to pay attention with the signs because they said there's no camera permitted. This is the bazaar. It's a huge bazaar. There's so many stores all over the place. You can keep walking, walking in through different areas. There are so many little vias as well. Um, and you don't know what can you find. And that's what it makes it very interesting because you stop in one store and you just look around and then you continue walking and stop in another store. It just never ends. Each store is a little bit different. They have different type of decorations. They are all friendly, amazing people. Another fun way to enjoy your day in the markets with a low budget is to have a ride in the Arabian style boats by the Dubai Creek. The good news is that a ride costs about 25 cents US dollar just 25 cents period you can also book any other boat as a private charter for 32 US dollars per person all right so you're still worried about money and this is still a factor even though you're still on a budget but let me give you some more tips and I think it's gonna help you to eliminate this at least to the most so I don't think this is the right place. Over there is better. Can you just stand in front of the food shop and play with us? When you have the show, they also show something on the building. That's true. Yeah, so, I know. Alright, so we are right in front of the Burj Khalifa. I am not sure if I ever seen so many world records Guinness in one place. For example, the tallest building in the entire world, which is the Burj Khalifa. So the largest mall in the world, which is the Dubai Mall. The majestic Dubai water fountain. The Souq Al Bahar, which is an Arabian style development with traditional local shops. And the Time Out Marketplace for your ultimate dining experience. Okay, so this is not a sponsored video, but if you're wondering where I am getting my music, Music on my videos well epidemic sound does the magic they have the largest royalty free music library from different music artists around the world if you're starting as a content or video creator then sign up with my link in the description of this video to get 10% discount on your first 12 months and the first 30 days are free okay let's go back to the video you can see that all the people is already forming congregating here in the same place and actually in the other side it's the same thing so i don't know if you guys can see it and guess what you have to pay zero zero dollars just to experience all that area however you still need to pay most of the attractions inside the dubai mall and also if you want to visit the amazing view experience all the way to the top at the burj khalifa i have a video that talks more about dubai mall and also the downtown dubai so check it out because on those videos you are going to see what is inside the dubai mall and all the attractions that are involved including the prices that you need to pay for each of those attractions Do you watch me? Oh. Are you ready for the video? For the video? <gasps> yes. Oh damn! So, what do we have? We do. Wait, Fabiana, okay, I'm sorry. Where are you from? I'm from Philippines. You're gonna come visit. It's a popular place there, it's Boracay and Palawan. So, guys, ready for the lobster facial? Yes. Ready? Ready. At the can. Let's make it happen. Three. One, two, three. Wow. What? Uh -huh. Enjoy. What do we have? Whoa! You have french fries as well. I got my drink. You got your oranges. Whoa! We tried a diversity of restaurants in town and beach clubs, like this one. Alright, so we got the three burger bites, french fries, 
orange juice. I don't know what is this though. This is bright fox or hydration beverages. So just testing the water, delicious. And also this one. And this one. In neon color. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have the chef preparing uh, a. What are you preparing? I prepare an omelette, sir. Omelette. Yes, sir. And this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. So your heart is like a beautiful heart. Uh -huh. My heart looks like a bar. And I can say that the average price for a meal without drinks for two people is 75 US dollars or more. And the drinks can be very pricey even without alcohol. If you want to save more money on food and not to have to go to a restaurant twice a day that could cost you more than the entire trip, I suggest visiting local restaurants where you will be paying $5 to $15 per meal or getting food from the food market. This is genius. There's so much food in the market that if you don't want to go to the restaurants, why not eat? Here in the market, supermarket, they sell food and it's cheaper versus the $40 dish per person in a restaurant. A lot cheaper. $4 or $5 dollars this. For example, I got a large delicious lasagna for only 4 US dollars in the supermarket. You got baklava, right? No. Okay. Love it. And I couldn't even believe it. So be mindful of your budget. I think you can balance your budget and have a couple of luxury days by having a unique dinner experience. Again, it is up to you how you want to manage your budget when visiting expensive cities like Dubai. I'm sorry. If you have $14 in your wallet, you can't miss the Dubai frame. It is a gigantic 500 foot gold plated building and it is one of the many popular attractions in Dubai. The Dubai frame is an observation tower or maybe it is more like the biggest picture frame in the world. Impressive, right? So cool. Is this a building? It's kind of impressive the way how it's been built. Yeah, it's very iconic. If you travel to Dubai, you will see it all the time. Check it out for yourself. Before going all the way to the top floor, you will go through historical displays about the old Dubai and the new Dubai. Once you reach the top using a panoramic view elevator, you will experience walking on glass floor looking down almost 150 meters until the building's lower span. Thank you. That looks, that looks good and the bread looks good. I knew that. That is what what? Festival City is a neighborhood, minutes away from the Dubai International Airport and by the Dubai Creek. There is a massive mall, not as big as the Dubai Mall, but large enough to spend time and check some of the retail shops and think restaurants. Don't miss the Imagine Show, which is a new attraction using a combination of sound, laser, water and fire element to portray a story. And guess what? The show is free. Alright, so this was a very cool show, they do this every 30 minutes uh, during the evening and there is this spot right here where you can just sit down and rest and wait for the show also you can go to the restaurants behind me this is actually the mall we had seen four different shows and they're all completely different I like it good job Festival City well this is nice well <laughs> Down it's too hot. Down, but yes. Look at that plane, that's crazy. 
It is very rare to find gardens in the desert, but Dubai made it possible to build and maintain the biggest flower structure in the world. It is located in the district of Dubai land and the park has more than 150 million flowers. This picturesque park is perfect for photography if you like to create content for Instagram or TikTok. Just make sure you bring very comfortable shoes because there is a lot of walking. So days like this when it's really, really hot and the ladies are in high heels and beautiful dresses and you don't want to walk around this park. The best way is to do this. Rent it's this golf car, 25 dirham, one round. That's all. This park does not have any rides and it is just a visual park. The cost is $15 per person, with the caveat you will have to pay $24 in taxi fare if you are staying in the area of data. <laughs> yeah, if Wait. you want to film me, make sure that I, I look pretty. You look pretty. So the combination of riding in a taxi and metro is always your best option. Bueno mi gente maravillosa, guys, these were all my tips for the day. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and hit the bell so you can get notifications when I post a new video. All right, uh, it is kind of late right now, so I think it's for the day. It's over. That so. was cool. <laughs> well, we are ready to go back to the hotel because we need to rest. Tomorrow is another day. So, see you guys soon. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Bye and ciao. Say something. What are you going to say? It took me a You while. see, she usually corrects me every single time. Since the, since the day I met her. It took me a while to teach him how to pronounce Burj Khalifa. Well, you just told me today how I'm supposed to be saying it. Look, that's the uh, Burj Khalifa. What? The infamous. Burj Khalifa, no. Burj. God, please, no! No! How do you say it? Burj Khalifa. What is the right way to say it? Burj Khalifa or Burj Khalifa? Burj Khalifa. Khalifa? Yes. You're right. My God. <laughs> Thank you.